for this problem, it says, uh, and this is related to the electrochemistry lab, you have a variety of metals and solutions available to try and create voltaic cells. Based on these materials, you will be able to use a number of possible oxidation half reactions. Rank the following oxidation half reactions in the, uh, in the following matching problem from highest or most positive potential, which will be number one, to lowest or most negative potential, which will be the highest number there is. Uh, and uh, then write all of the oxidation half reactions with their oxidation potentials on a piece of paper and bring them to lab with their potentials. And so we're going to do this as we go. So when I've got my um, handy dandy standard uh, electrode potential table here, and they're all reduction potentials, and I'm looking at oxidations. So the first thing I'm going to have to do to answer this problem is I'm going to have to say, uh, well, let's see. So I want to find this silver reaction. And I look for silver, AG, there's an AGI. Um, yeah, there it is. So uh, right there is the silver reaction. And it says AG plus aqueous plus one electron goes to AG solid. So just like it says, it says AG plus aqueous plus one electron goes to AG solid. And it says that that has a reduction potential since they're all reductions. And since this is written as a reduction of 0 0.80 volts. Now, this question asks about oxidation half reactions. And as an oxidation half reaction, we have to write it like this. So that's a reduction, right? So solid goes to Ag plus aqueous plus one electron. And when we turn, when we flip the reaction around, the sign of the potential changes, it becomes an oxidation. And this is minus 0 0.80 volts. So I'm just going to write minus 0 0.80 volts right there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through uh, basically all of them writing these down, and then I'm going to choose which one is the most positive, and that one I'm going to assign number one. And so I'll, I'll do like three of them uh, and to give you the idea. So then I go copper solid going to copper two plus plus two electrons. Well, I'm looking for copper. There's copper plus plus one electron down here, and then copper two plus plus two electrons. And it says plus 0.34 as a reduction. So I'm going to write minus 0 0.34 volts there. So we're not doing too well. Now let's do lead. Well, lead is actually written on here as minus 0 0.13. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, there you go. Minus 0 0.13. Uh, but then when we turn it around and write it as lead goes to lead 2 plus ion. That's going to be, I lost it now. It's going to be on the right-hand portion. There it is. It's going to be plus 0 0.13 volts. Phew. At least we got one that's positive because we're going to be making voltaic cells out of this and voltaic cells of positive potentials. And so if I were just to do these three, I can see that my most positive one would be this. My next most positive would be negative, and my order would be one, two, three. Now you have to continue doing all of these and um, ranking all of them, and you will find plenty that are positive. We just didn't get to them yet. Uh, so, but this is what I want uh, you to do for this lab. I want you to bring the list of all of them um, with their potentials and ranked. And the number one one is the one that we're going to try and make our voltaic cell out of in lab. There's another one just like this, except it's for reduction half reactions. And you'll do the same thing, except you'll rank them for reductions.